Good morning. Well, it's been a minute. About a week, week and a half, two weeks maybe. I don't know anymore. All my days are kind of running together. But I made it. I'm in Houston. And I'm in my garage where I'll be filming my workouts and such. Just wanted to check in. I actually had some of you guys tell me before I left. was like, hey man, make sure you keep us updated because I watch your stuff. And hey man, I really appreciate you guys for that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to organize this hot mess behind me a little bit more so I can actually get my lift in this morning. No, obviously I don't want to bore you guys while just watching me clean, so I've sped up the uh, video and added a little funk in the background there. Um, trying to sweep out all the webs and dead spiders, and then behind the camera trying to adjust and make room of all the boxes to get everything out of the way so I can squat and clean and jerk and everything without worrying about dropping weight on all the stuff. Not a long video, but here it is. And then we get into the warm up, which I started warming up, so that's why you guys might see me only do one side there. Um, but I did about half of my warm up with that band before realizing I hadn't hit record. And then this is going to stop shortly after my warm up as I started adding weight because I left the other battery upstairs and apparently I left this running so it um, didn't record everything. So yeah, here's the rest of the lift slowed down after the warm up was over and uh, right now I'm working on some behind the neck push press. Grip slightly wider than I would normally have it work uh, a little more overhead stability, adding some weight, and my battery will be done shortly, so we'll see you in a second. Thank you. 
you guys get a close up of my steering wheel. I hope you like it. Finished it. Sammy's. Sorry, I was kind of in a rush, so I didn't really get the opportunity because I wanted to go for a run before class to set up my camera to catch anything during class, but that's okay. That would be other days. Other days. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to still get everything in some kind of order uh, as far as scheduling because last week was really just figuring out scheduling between my coaching and my training and this week is figuring out coaching and training and adding weightlifting back in because I didn't do any weightlifting last week so I woke up early this today excuse me to try to get some weightlifting in and I did I did you saw um, but it wasn't quite as early as I would have liked it to be to give myself a little more time to rest and refuel before Muay Thai because then I went and ran and it was just shy of two miles it wasn't even like a big run or anything like that um, but it was enough for me to feel it during class to feel it during pads and I don't want that if I'm gonna go on a run before class um, I want to get my weightlifting out of the way earlier than what I did so we're, we're gonna work on that though um, right now I'm on my way home so I can shower and chill and then I get to teach at Empire Boxing um, at uh, 6 o'clock is my class so yeah you know I'm trying my best to get everything set up to where I can start uh, recording some of those uh, instructional videos that I've been wanting to get on. I haven't really had the chance to get into that yet. Um, I'm very close though. Uh, hopefully this week we will start doing that. I will start doing that. I don't know who he is. I mean, you guys watching it, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, uh, I had somebody email me about some shadow boxing footwork, uh, things like that. I definitely plan to do some uh, bag related uh, drills to help with you guys. Um, so footwork, shadow boxing, bag work, uh, what else do you guys want to see? You know, help me out, shoot me a message, uh, leave a comment, and and let's let's start compiling a list of things that I can start doing for you guys to look at. This class time. <sighs> Morning lift. Afternoon training. Slash morning. I still need that key to open the front door. And afternoon coaching. Oh, excuse me. Now, I stabbing my finger with the phone pokey thing. Ugh. This is it. This is Empire. <laughs> He's on the radio. 
to it, but I do love what I do. Still trying to figure out, as I said earlier, the new schedule of in, scheduling of everything. Um, you know, getting used to coaching and training at two different gyms, which is a thing in itself. Um, not training and coaching at the same gym anymore. It's a little strange, but it's cool. I actually really enjoy it. Um, the idea of it, even as uh, as I get to not only progress myself at a new gym with a new coach, uh, but I also get to help progress and grow others at another gym. And, you know, I never really liked the idea much of training and coaching at two different places. I've never really had to do it before now. Um, but I just, I don't know, I felt indifferent about it, I suppose, is the best way to put it. As you know, I'm, I'm representing one team and training another. It's a little strange, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. But in growth and time, I've come to realize that, like, that is still kind of true, but I'm also at this point trying to grow the sport as a whole. I'm trying to, you know, bring up other people now that will potentially be fighting uh, and maybe even fighting me one day which would be kind of cool actually when I think about it um, but yeah I don't know that for certain got nothing coming up at the moment but hopefully hopefully something will be coming up soon if it if, if it is coming I can't say what it is without giving it away but if it is coming I'm actually really excited about it I've uh, only ever like had my eye on one fighter that I've actually wanted to fight and I fought him in MMA which wasn't exactly I mean, no, it was exactly where I wanted to fight him, uh, but it didn't go exactly as planned as his coach knew where I was from, and his coach was, take him down, take him down, he's, he's going to stand with you, uh, take him down, you'll win, and uh, that he did, and that's exactly what happened, he won, um, but this guy, um, he fought recently, and and he's he's a Muay Thai fighter, and that's, that's what it is, and that's where I want to fight him, and I really, really hope I get this fight, and I just think it'd be a fun fight after watching him fight. Uh, this last Texas uh, Muay Thai Championship fight. I will give that away soon. But uh, you guys have... Uh, take care of yourselves. Have fun. Most importantly, have fun. See you guys later.